Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is this is 4F Beauty and this is a little bit different for me because this is a warning film. Um, it has come to my attention that the environmental working group in Washington DC who had um, commissioned some lab testing on a lot of different eyeshadows following the, um, the issue with Claire's makeup and the Jojo Siwa line have now said that the Scientific Anal Analytical Institute has found asbestos fibres in some beauty glazed items. Uh, the JMK Cos 120 Colours Eyeshadow Palette and the Beauty Glazed Gorgeous Me Eyeshadow Tray Palette. Um, Tasha Stoiber, a senior scientist at the Environmental Working Group, has said we urge anyone who has purchased either of these products for themselves, family or friends to take necessary steps to ensure they are no longer being used. And we call on these companies and online retailers to immediately pull both of these products from their respective websites. Uh, the asbestos levels found in the eyeshadow palettes was alarming. Nearly 3.9 million asbestos fibre structures per gram of eyeshadow in the 120 colours eyeshadow palette which was being sold on Amazon as of May the 19th but was removed on or before May the 26th. Um, of the 45 shades in that palette 18 of them, or 40%, contained asbestos. The Beauty Glazed Gorgeous Me Eyeshadow Tray Palette was also still available for purchase on Amazon along with eBay and the JMK Cos website as of May the 19th. The JMK Cos website still had the product listed for sale on May 26th, but the other two sources had, it, had taken it down. Um, and that particular palette had up to 3.5 million asbestos structures per gram of eyeshadow. They examined 25 shades and 5 of them, or 20%, contained asbestos. Now I will link in the description below the, uh, the two reports that I came across that mention this. Now in the past I have used beauty glazed eyeshadows on this channel and I have recommended them for purchase because of their quality. Although none of the palettes that I have used and recommended were the ones tested and found to have asbestos in, the fact that even one of their line, let alone two of the the umbrella company, JMK Cos um, palettes were found to have asbestos in, you can be sure that I will be going through my collection. I will be pulling out every single beauty glazed eyeshadow and I will be disposing of them. I strongly advise you to do the same with your beauty glazed palettes. Asbestos is not something to joke about. The asbestos fibres are lethal. They get inhaled into your lungs, they stick to the hairs inside your lungs. Um, can cause all kinds of breathing difficulties and has been known to cause mesotheliomia asbestosis and other varieties of cancer of the lungs. So, I cannot stress this firmly enough. The fact that these products have been found with asbestos in, 
I am not going to be using any beauty glazed products from this moment on my channel or in real life and I strongly advise you if you have any beauty glazed products or anyone that you know uses beauty glazed products to please dispose of them uh, as quickly as possible. I don't believe they need specific disposal. I know asbestos has um, specific disposal methods but as I understand it if the eyeshadow palette if the pans are solid and not broken i.e. not dusty then you can just dispose of them as normal because they don't pose a hazard if you have got either loose pigments of beauty glazed or you have pans of pressed shadow that have broken I would advise you to contact your local environmental health authority and seek their advice as to the disposal methods they recommend. Now obviously I don't know for sure that any of the other beauty glaze products contain asbestos but personally I'm not prepared to take the risk and I would advise you to also err uh, on the side of caution. Um, as I said, very different kind of film from me today, but this is something very important that I feel all my viewers should know. And please spread awareness of this um, as best you can to everyone else you know who may be using their products. Right, my lovelies, I'm sorry this was such a, uh, a serious film from me and I sincerely hope you are all well and uh, I'll see you in my next film, I guess, which I can assure you will not be a beauty glaze product. Take care, my lovelies. Not going to do my usual outro. I don't think it's quite appropriate. Stay safe. See you soon.